I know business has been a bit slow lately and it's nobody's fault, I am not naming any names here, Moxie. Now does anyone have any idea on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? Nobody cares about car washes, Millie. Hmm. What about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful Moxie, really glad you're in the room right now. Did you guys forgot what service we provide? <laughs> Are those good times? I don't need any reminding, sir. Considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious ad last week, that you paid to have run for three hours on the channel nobody watches. What's so obnoxious about a super fun jingle? And we are basically doing one. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Moxie, are you going to? I. What? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Fine, I'll do the stupid jingle. Nobody likes the jingles anyway. But I like the jingles. Do not agree with him in front of me, Millie. Hello, I am Blitz. The O is silent. And I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of crap who got sent to hell? Are you an innocent soul who got... Fricked over by someone else? After killing my wife for cheating on me, I ended up here. The state of Ohio killed me. I wish I can kill that fool who saw what I was doing. And now we can take care of your unfinished business by anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. Asterisk the immediate murder professionals jingle plays asterisk. Doctor, he's not responding. Darn it, I'm not losing another one. Electric noises. Holy crap, that actually worked. He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now what insurance provider do you freaks have? The frick is insurance? They all break through the glass and escapes with the kid they shot. I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Oh, sit on a needle, Moxie. You sit. On. To your job. Okay, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. I don't want it. I'm sorry, it's spiders. Excuse me, did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why would anyone send me this? Come on, you know why. Whoever left the freaking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumb frick. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some freaking steam. Uh... Blitz, that clenchy rich a-hole is on the phone says it's urgent and wants to talk to you. Seven gods it was only that one time. Got the book. Got the book. Got this freaking heavy book. Oh crap. A uh, sorry. I Blitz. I heard you already. So oh, oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. 
more people die if nothing is done about it, and it gets lonely here, and you know what happens when I'm lonely Blitzy? A uh, gosh freaking darn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry, and when I'm hungry, I... And then Blitzo puts the cell phone in the blender, and turns it into a drink. It's Blitz. Dio is silent. Sorry, sorry. Eat this. And you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah. Crap off it. Look the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of families. We aren't a family sir, you are the boss, and we are employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a phone zombie homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive, without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Spare change. Spare change. While we're on the subject of, family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Oh come on sweetie it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sure sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. Ha ha ha. What's funny honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to get back to that. All of Yimps in hell. It's for him that I fell. Oh Millie. Are you freaking filming us right now? Just, stop, doing, that. I don't see what the issue is, or something you don't want me seeing. Sir, what you say and what you act like is totally inappropriate. Calm down Mox, you're gonna have another panic attack. I am calm. Shh. They're there. Look I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you sir, quite a lot actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, no, it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just... <laughs> How do I say this without being offensive? Retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason that you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not. Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. You guys are all freaking retards. Oh shut up kid you're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. Okay let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling so how does it look? It's good right? It's been a literal hack having to pretend to be paralyzed, so you frick craps wouldn't kill me, but now, I want that, I want death. You are a selfish greedy clown. And I am a kid. Hey now? That's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless donkey, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some crap. That's my husband you're talking to. Ha 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 ha. That's your husband. I figured you for a you know for show. What on earth do you mean by you know for show? And you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow, you know kid. You kind of are a piece of crap. Oh frick. Guys I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child? That's what they are saying. Well crap I guess there's a god. Shoot sound. Ah. Uh, uh. You know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. So, from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it, because no one freaking cares.
you know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. And it's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us at OOO. You're welcome. The end.